Canola School on realagriculture.com is supported by Bear Crop Science. This year, in this particular area, it was a very long, prolonged, uh, early spring period with a lot of snow cover. So the flea beetles have just been emerging in the last week to 10 days. This particular spot was under snow up until about 14 days ago. So the, the average trend uh, this year is, is much later than usual. Flea beetles are emerging as the weather warms, but unfortunately they will be primed and waiting for the canola to come up. So they will be hungry and I'm afraid, we, depending on the weather conditions, there is the potential for considerable damage. Flea beetles are a primary pest of canola as a seedling, so the period, the first two weeks of emergence uh, from the time they pop out of the ground till about the time they reach the second or third true leaf are, are when they are most vulnerable. Obviously, the smaller the seedling, the more vulnerable it is to damage. Conditions that will maximize feeding uh, warm sunny days with little wind. Flea beetles can feed in cold periods but they will not fly and their activity is dampened, if I may use that term, with cold wet conditions but it does not kill them and they'll just wait till it gets warmer. We can have uh, infestation within a matter of hours, we can have damage within a matter of hours. If the population is high in an area, if the conditions are conducible for feeding, uh, they can do a number on a field very quickly. That is totally a function of crop stage. The as the crop matures, it simply can outgrow feeding. Their flea beetles may be feeding, but the crop can outgrow it and basically power on through. Generally, cold, wet temperatures below about 15 degrees inhibits flea beetle movement. It inhibits flea beetle flying. There may be some walking or jumping into a field, but that is minimal. If flea beetles are in a field already, they can feed at or near the soil surface. They do not like to be up in the plant canopy when it is uh, cold and wet, but they can feed at the ground level and you can have severing of the growing point of a cotyledon or stem feeding. We have a nominal economic threshold of about 25% of the leaf area eaten on average in a field. If you have that level of feeding in many places in your field, control is recommended. We encourage multiple site observations. Flea beetle feeding may be worse next to a windbreak. There may be none within the field or on edges that are not, uh, that are exposed. So sample at least 10 sites in an area and check plants randomly. Our eyes tend to be drawn to the most damaging plants, but if there are many plants around this little seedling that was uh, decimated, we may be overestimating damage. Well, with the pressure of seeding, with the time crunch, farmers are going to be trying to cut corners. It doesn't pay to cut corners in terms of scouting for pests. You have to be able to grow a crop in a timely manner and knowing what's affecting that crop is paramount.